Well, hello YouTube and good morning. It's Sunday right before the live stream, but a package from Amazon arrived here. It's been a long time since so I got some from Amazon. Uh, I kind of remember what's in it and I kind of don't, so we're going to struggle through this together. <laughs> That's right, old Jefe Bezos hooked it up. Unboxing knife, the uh, liner lock and nimble, by the way, if you're wondering, if you're curious. Just a little bit. Now let's take a look, see. Oh, it's two things, so I gotta pick and choose. Let's, let's, let's do that one first. Let's do that one first. The nondescript box. It says, it says, Remet hand feel folding pee for men and women. So, this company reached out to me. This is the company formerly known as Quigmig, which is bizarre. I never handled any of their stuff when they were called Quigmig, but they were said, they said, Hey, we got some knives. Do you want to check them out? They're very reasonably priced, under $40, and they look nice. So, I was like, you know what? Screw it. Let's check this thing out. It looks good and fidgety. Looks like a good budget option. I don't remember what it's called or if it even has a name. So, we're just going to not... Okay, first off, nice pouch. That's always a nice touch at $40. The pouch alone's worth five. Pop her open. What do we got? We got a nice cleaning cloth here and the Kniff. Looks like a big one too. No, it's not. It's a good size. Okay. All right, look. So this is a knife from a company called Remet or Reme. I don't know. They used to be called Quigmig. Uh, they've since rebranded for whatever reason. Uh, I'm not sure what the reasoning was, honestly. But there's literally no branding on any of the packaging. These are cheap. These are made overseas. But, uh, you know, it's been a long time since so I checked out a nice, affordable knife. Especially, you know, 37 bucks, I think, is what this is. So, uh, nice stamp deep carry clip. Just says Reme on there. Nice textured black G10 scales. Exposed stainless steel liners. Uh, some standoff skeletonization, yes, very much so. It's not crazy uh, uh, heavy. It's also not super light, but uh, we'll give you a size comparison. Here is a an uh, Rockwall Tactile Knife Co. Rockwall. Good size. It's a good size. Uh, just a tiny bit bigger, and honestly carries about the same size as that. Uh, I don't have my pair of three anywhere for some reason. Because I use them all the time. Here is the Manix 2. So, yeah, much. It's a, it's a very reasonable sized EDC knife. So, there you go. Good size, good size, good stuff. So, we got thumb studs, a flipper tab, nice jimping here on the blade spine, some texturing down here on the uh, liners. It's good stuff. Lanyard hole, tucked away. Ultra deep carry clip, coated, black coated, everything. Let's flicker open. Let's see what we got. Huh? Very nice. Uh, good detent on it. So we have this nice kind of drop point, kind of, sure we'll call that a drop point style blade. It, it's like borderline sheep's foot at the cutting edge though. Nice really tall flat grind on there, relatively thin blade stock, nothing too outrageous. Uh, again, nice jimping here. Lockup is, lockup solid, liner lock, so no issues there. Interesting, ergo's in hand, yeah, feels fine, feels great, really nice ergonomic lines here. So, no issues there. Thumb lands on the jimping. That feels great. We don't have a finger choil, but whatever. I can get it. I, I can, yeah, it is what it is. It is what it is. You know what I mean? Um, it's a very fingerprinty. It's like a black wash, almost, on the blade. Uh, black wash finish. But that feels fine. No hot spots. Pinch grip. All day. <clears throat> all day, baby. Let me tell you. Feels good. Feels nice. Texturing here, texturing here, a little bit on the uh, on the flipper tab there. It's good. Let's check the action. Decent. Running on a set of caged ceramic bearings. Flipper detents, really nice. Very good. Access to the uh, lock bar. Super, super easy to get a hold of that. Unlock the blade. Feels good. Reverse flick. Okay. Well, then, oh, shit. I don't remember what the blade steel on this is. Future me, insert the blade steel here. It's probably D2. It could be something else. I, I don't remember. <laughs> I don't remember. Action solid. Uh, needs a little bit of lube on the D-Temp ball. Let me get some KPL Heavy out. 
Use code TRISTAY10 at knifepivotlube.com. Where's my KPL heavy? Lubricate your world. Lubricate your life. Code TRISTAY10 at knifepivotlube.com. 10% off, baby. Just saying. Just a little, just a little, little dab on the old uh, D10 ball. Oh, yeah, that's all needed. Let's check the acoustics. It's nice. It's honestly really great action. So I got no complaints. Detent is really well dialed. Like that flips right out. No complaints. Again, we have this kind of awkward, um, it's like a borderline sheep's foot, but it is a drop point style blade. Relatively thin blade stock on it. Uh, nice tall flat grind. Relatively thin looking behind the edge. Factory edge feels nice. If not, it looks a little toothy, but they usually do. So we ought to cut something with it real quick. Let's take a looky-see here, huh? Sh uh, shall we? <clears throat> the Uline catalog. We're going to survive. Uline catalog's finicky, so it does. it is nice. Nice factory edge on that. Nice and thin. Nice and slicey. Okay. All right, Rene, you have my attention for $37. Sure, this is a great budget option. Um, I will... Like I do with all my budget knives, I will beat the snot out of it. That's just how I am with my budget knives. Uh, I use them for the things I don't want to dirty up my nice knives with, you know? So we'll see how that blade holds up uh, and how the uh, overall fit and finish holds up. But it's nice. I I'm impressed. Rame, I'll leave links for their uh, stuff. Uh, I think it's only on Amazon right now, down in the description, uh, for you to check out yourself. But I, you know, it's a nice looking knife. If it wasn't a nice looking knife, I would have told them I wasn't interested. But it is genuinely a nice, clean looking design. Uh, running on bearings, good and fidgety, good cutting performance. For 37 bucks, why not? So there you go, that is it for me. Not the full review, just first impressions unboxing. There will be pictures on Instagram and on Kara's Instagram, so be sure to check us out there. But that is it, uh, so until next time, thank you all oh so very much for watching. Bye bye now.